right? Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, I'd like to say, Call Halalim, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. I'm going to hop straight into this. You know, um, this is very spiritual for me, uh, this lesson, because before I updated this lesson, this lesson was done like, mm, I'm saying me and the brother thought of this lesson about last Thursday. It's, it's Wednesday right now, so last Thursday, or last Wednesday, one or the other. And um, we was going over, you know, the mark, you know, the title of the lesson. Uh, the mark of the east, all right, which is the mark of exemption versus the mark of the beast. And it's very spiritual because just literally, uh, I don't know if it was the brothers from Philadelphia, but just yesterday they did a, a lesson called the mark of exemption versus the mark of the beast. And it boosted my spirit so much because that's how you know it's truly one spirit. We're in two different states, two different cities. Never talked to these brothers a day in my life, you know, and the spirit of having us go over the same thing. So, you know, it's very spiritual. So I'm just getting to this lesson real quick. This is uh, Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, and lamb stood on Mount Sion and with him 144,000 having their father's name written in their foreheads. Now, one thing I thought about is second edges, the second chapter with the, the, uh, the angel of high statue placing crowns on the rest of the men, which are the 144, right? So it's the same visual. But in this one, it says, having his father's name written in their foreheads, all right? The elect was sealed before the beginning of time, all right? Before anything was created, all right? And part of having that seal in their foreheads, which is part of that mark of, ex of exemption, are the names, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, man, all right? The elect has those names sealed in their heads. That's why you read Micah 3. It says the man of wisdom shall run into it. I mean, the man of wisdom shall see of thy name. All right. So only the elect. All right. Only the elect is going to get that mark of, uh, of exemption. Revelations 22 and 4. And they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. So this is all parabolic. All right. We, we're going to have those names sealed. Well, we already got them sealed in our head, all right? A lot of the electors are already sealed, all right? But it's just like, uh, you know, speaking of Passover, the blood over the lintel post, all right? The post, all right? Because uh, what do you have? What is your door? What is the door? Your mind. Who's knocking? Yahweh Shai, all right? And he's going to seal you with what? All right, the, uh, hey, the blood of Hamashiach. All right, therefore you're exempt, just like they was exempt from that uh, judgment in Egypt because they had the blood of the lamb on their do doorposts. Same with us, okay? Ezekiel nine and four, and Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. All right, which when you go into that Hebrew word, that's a mark of exemption. All right. Upon the foreheads of the man that sigh and cry for the abominations done in the midst thereof. All right? So the brothers, all right? The, uh, uh, even some of the sisters that's sick of seeing this everyday life go on, these uh, abominations, so on and so forth. All right? They're going to have a mark of exemption placed upon them. All right? Hey, they're going to have that. Hey, they're going to be sealed in the foreheads. All right? This is 2 Corinthians 1 and 21 and 22. Now he which established us with you in Mashiach and have anointed us. What do you anoint yourself? On your head, right? <laughs> is Yahweh, who have also sealed us. There's the seal and gave us the earnest of the spirit in our heart, hearts. Where's your heart? Your life, your mind. Once again, right? We're going to have that mark of exemption. Hey, when the angels come down and reap this earth, all right, chosen, 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 you know, the elect, the elect, the elect, all right, he has the seal, up, oh, two-third, get him, kill him, up, oh, he has the mark of the beast, slay him, so on and so forth, 
All right? It's a beautiful thing we're in, man. Through the spirit and power you have by Shemel Shai. Just absolutely beautiful, man. All right? Because, yeah, I was just in the... I forget where I was at. I, I think I was at my second... What was that? Yeah. I think it was last Wednesday. I'm at work. I'm cooking and stuff. And the spirit just come to me. Because I was watching Elder uh, Apostle Tahar videos. And one thing the elder do, he constantly goes into the mark of the beast. Which proves you other niggas ain't got it. That's a topic that nobody really touched. All right? Even for you niggas that say y'all know what the mark of the beast is. Y'all so busy scoffing the elders that y'all don't really preach about it. Y'all don't warn about it. That, should, hey, that tells you who the true prophets of the Lord is, man. All right? Jeremiah 28 and 8 all day. But back to this. All right? It says, uh, go into the, uh, I'm going to read Ephesians 1 and 13. All right? It says, In whom ye have also selected, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, the good news of your salvation, the word of truth, which is Yahweh Shai, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, man. Sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We're promised though, that new covenant. We're promised that salvation if we're part of the elect. Yahweh Ratazah, we are. Okay, which is in the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession until the praise of his glory. And who's the purchased possession? The elect of Israel. How did they get purchased? With the blood of Yahweh Shai. That's, that's what you call re, uh, redemption, man. Being redeemed. All right. Having that name sealed upon us. Them that stood so stiffly for the, uh, for the name. All right. That's the mark the elect want. We don't want the other mark. All right? You got the mark on the right-hand side, and you got the mark on the left-hand side. And hey, you know what? The brother Benji has sent me a, a scripture to go with this lesson. All things are double, one against another, man. And you can find that in the Sirach. All right? On the left-hand side, you have the mark of the beast. All right? And, and, that, that, and that includes all the ways of this world and wickedness. And then you have the mark of the east. All right? Which is that mark of redemption, that mark of exemption, that mark of salvation, all right? And everything that righteous, uh, th that is righteous, that go along with it, all right? Because, hey, the mark of the east versus the mark of the beast are clean contrary, one to uh, uh, another, okay? So guess what? You can't have both. So what th that nigga Nate talking about? Who knows? All right? You can't have both. You ain't going to get salvation if you get that RFID chip implanted in you, man, which is being heavenly pushed. This is truly the year of uh, Karagma, man. It's being pushed at all levels, man. Ephesians 1 and 13. Oh, no, I read that. Okay, so this is Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. That's the elect being sealed. Going up further to uh, where I started, um, that name being sealed in our foreheads, man. Okay? This is 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Neither less, the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure, having this seal. Uh... The Lord knoweth them that are his, and everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach departed from iniquity, man. All right? So the elect is sealed. All right? Yes, you're going to have people that's calling on the name of the Lord that ain't part of the elect. All right? So, and you know what? That's the difference. That's why the Lord said, He knoweth them that are his. Everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach is going to do what? Depart from iniquity. All right? Well, and, hey, we got the seal, man. To the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shai, we have that seal. And we got to believe that we have that seal, honestly. All right? Because if you don't, why are you in this truth? All right? You got to believe that the Lord's word is sure. All right? So let's get into this mark of the beast. Revelations 13 and 17. And that no man will be able to buy or sell, save him that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 
Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beasts. For it's the number of man, which that number was started by a man, an actual man, right? Which was the Edomite. And his number is 600, six score, and six. Which that goes into the binary system, man. The barcode, right? The scanning system. Where everything's bought, traded. So, hey, everything has a digital number. Everything. From whether you're making transactions online, whether you do a bank transfer you know transferring with accounts it has a transaction number man that's why it literally says that no man might be able to buy or sell save him to have the mark because all this is going to do this is going to do with the markets and trade because there has to be a new uh, uh, economical system uh, a new form of uh, a treasury if you will all right a new monetary system okay it's going to deal with biotechnology all right which is being pushed heavenly in the media right now, man. And it's gonna be good for what? Children. Yeah, hey, it's gonna be good for money, children, transportation. You know, keeping. You know, what I mean, like keeping up with your kids. You know, if something crazy happened. Esau is gonna push this as a good thing to come. Right? You'll be. Hey. We'll be able to track your children if anything happened. Got all your medical records, so on and so forth. But why would you want to put something foreign in your body? All right. Why? Why would you want to put something in your body where they're gonna have they're gonna track you twenty four seven? Okay. We don't need that. The Lord already know where we at twenty four seven. So I don't need no damn devil knowing where the fuck I'm at twenty four seven. Which this devil already know where the fuck we at, man. Okay. But like I was saying, this is dealing with trade and commerce. This ain't dealing with. Religion, man. You can't buy and sell with no damn religion, man. Okay? Revelation 24. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh. And which had not worshipped the beast. Because taking that mark of the beast, you're worshipping. You're worshipping it. You're, you're telling that entity, which is really uh, the body of Esau, that you want to be a servant unto them forever all right that you would rather follow their their rules instead of the rules of yahweh Shai. neither his image neither had received this mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with mashiach a thousand years man all right so that's what's going to come to the elect we're not going to take the mark of the beast everybody else is going to take the mark of the beast man all right the lord is going to have us shielded from that hour of temptation man Matter of fact, Revelations 15 and 2. And I saw that it was a sea of glass mingled with fire, which this is really talking about Babylon the Great. All right? This, that's where a lot of this concentrated fire is going to go. All right? Because he could have said he saw the whole world on fire. But guess what? The whole world ain't going to be on fire. There's going to be certain places. In America, Babylon the Great being the biggest place. All right? And them that have gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, Standing on a sea of glass, having harps in their hand. All right, and we're gonna see this destruction from a hey, from above the ozone layer, if, if you will, man. All right, it's gonna be hey, it's gonna look like a sea of glass, man, on fire. All right, and, and guess what? We're gonna get that victory, man. All right, because we didn't bow down to the mark of the beast, Satan, Esau, Edom, if you will, man. All right, the red man, all right? Not that W word. Mm -hmm. all right, this is Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which should come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Hmm, sounds like what? That no man may buy or sell. As in, whether he's rich, poor, small, great, doesn't matter, man. Same thing as the hour of temptation, man. All right? So your best bet is to take the mark of the east now and pray and hope that you keep that mark of the east, which is that mark of exemption, because the Lord could take the spirit away from you at any time. And if he does do that, that means you never had the mark of exemption on you anyway. So that's why it's really a scary thing. That's why we really pray and we hope that we are the elect of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All right? So you rather have that mark Versus the mark of the, uh, of the beast, which is nothing but death. It's nothing but death.
All right. So with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad Babal.